Hello, my beautiful friends, and welcome back to our 13 days of Yarnoween. I am Nova, and this is Novanum Creations. You have entered the spookiest corner of YouTube, and the comfiest, and the coziest corner of YouTube that you will find. I hope that you find it to be comfy, cozy, and downright bone chilling in the corner today. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying the 13 days of Yarnoween. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you decided to join. You joined for a very fun video today. We are in the midst of our 13 days of Yarnoween, and every day this month, or well not this month, but these 13 days, which is basically their own month, which by the way is the unlucky number 13, that's why I chose it, uh, we are doing spooky themes. So I have here this cauldron full of little themes for our spooky crochet. I have here the magic wand of the Furls crochet hook. 5.5 millimeter and I am doing a little incantation on this cauldron pulling out a theme for the day and then we are having fun making it if you decide to play along and you'd want to make this thing too any of these days you are welcome to you can actually send me a picture to my email I link it in the description box below this video and all of my videos but it is nova gnome creations at gmail.com and you can send me an email with Halloween as the subject line attach your pictures you Use your name let me know what your name is and make sure you use the same name every time so you can say hey this is Joe Schmo and here is my whatever it is that you made you can include any other info you want or you can include no other info totally up to you but that's what I need Halloween in the subject line attach a picture let me know who you are like I said use the same name every time that way when I'm going through and I'm uh, putting everybody's names in for the giveaway I know how many times you have sent something in on the 13th day, which will be Halloween day, I am going to do a montage video of everybody's makes for these 13 days. You are welcome to make whatever the day's theme is, and it doesn't have to be sent in that day. You can send it in at any point before the end of the 13 days. Um, so October 30th at midnight, I guess, is the cutoff for sending them in. And um, you can also send in pictures of tutorials of mine that you have followed or patterns of mine that you have followed that are Halloween related. So I'm including the mesh sleeves that I made a tutorial for. Uh, very recently, it's on my channel. Uh, I am including the froggy with the googly uh, finger puppet eyes that I put out on the first day of Yarnoween. And I also just have a playlist of Halloween uh, crochet tutorials. And I have um, in my Etsy shop a link to, or in my Etsy shop, you can purchase a Halloween gnome tutorial or uh, pattern. If you do any of those, take a picture, send it in, and that will also count as an entry. All right, guys, now that you know what's up, are you ready to see what today's theme is? All right. Give it a little stir. Add in a little bit of magic. All right, guys, let's see what today's theme is. All right, I think I got one. Da -da 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 -da. Witch. She's a witch. So today's theme is witch. There is so many things you could make for this. For one, that tutorial that I told you, or that uh, pattern I told you is in my Etsy shop is actually a witch gnome. Um, you could also make a witch's hat. You could make any sort of a witchy themed item. Um, you could make like a washcloth. You could make anything with like an embroidered or um, applique witch on it, or even make just an applique witch. You could make so many things. You could make a hat for a plushie that you already have. So if you just wanna make like a little witch's hat, so many things you guys could do with witch theme. I have actually made several witch themed projects. So I am going to like dig into my archives and I'm gonna do a little, um, a little display of some of the witchy stuffs that I have made with crochet. I've made a hat, I've made a gnome, I made like kind of a witch uh, counterpart, um, a warlock, which is like, you know, the guy version of a witch. Um, I put those on my wreath last year that I made. I made like a little Halloween wreath with like a witch and a warlock. Um, oh yeah, and then I also have, this would probably count as a witch. 
This is my pocket gnome pattern, which I actually have a tutorial for this on my channel. And I also have a pattern in my Etsy shop for this little spooky dude. And I also have these gnomes, which you could probably consider both of those witches. Um, those are by Muffy Corn and Happy Dolls, I believe. Um, I made those in previous years. So lots of witchy goodness for crochet. I am super excited to see what you guys do with this one. Here is my little witchy archive dive. Um, this is my witch gnome that I was talking about. Um, I made a tutorial like series for that and I'll link that in the description box. And then I also have a written tutorial for it, which I will also link in the description box. But this witch has all the accessories, has like a little book of shadows, has a little cauldron. And then here is the little like warlock counterpart that I made for it for the gnome that I put together. Or not gnome, wreath. I mean, yes, it is a gnome, but I meant for the wreath that I put together. And then here is what the wreath was looking like uh, before I put it up on the wall. Got little appliques and all that good stuff on there. Oh yeah, and there's a little ghost on there too. That ghost glows in the dark. And this is what it looks like up on my wall. Um, I actually still have this on my wall. <laughs> uh, and then here's what it looks like when the lights are off and I turn on all the little lights on it. It's got like a little battery pack. Um, so it's just able to be turned on right there on the wall. And the last thing that I pulled from the archives is this hat. Um, this was a free-handed hat that I did. So it's got flowers on it. I did like a lot of like switching yarns, um, did some like back loop onlys and then came back through and slip stitched on them or did like little like pico stitches and just different stuff like that. And unrelated to witches, but here is my cat sleeping in my yarn bag. Um, in a project bag and she was not very happy that I was trying to get pictures of her because <laughs> she was down under everything but anyways guys I just wanted to uh, say that I'm so glad that you were here today to hang out with me and I will see you guys again real soon uh, don't forget to send in your makes if you'd like to set aside five minutes for yourself at minimum today just to do something that you enjoy and have a beautiful rest of your night and a great weekend I'll see you guys tomorrow